Hi friends, hello, this is Swarab here and today I am going to talk about active and passive attacks. Now in computer security, whenever we talk about attacks, so these attacks are classified into two. One is a passive, another is an active attack. Now what is a passive attack? An attack which can, which a person or an attacker who is doing has no intention of any modification. That means an attack which is done without any intention of changing the data. It is just done to sniff the data. Then there is another attack which is an active attack. That kind of attack is a kind of attack wherein attacker has an intention to change or to modify or to fabricate the data. So in a passive attack, there are a couple of softwares available by which an attacker can sniff out your information. For example, I'm trying to log in into one of my account of a social network. My attacker is a genius. He is simply going to sniff out all the information or he is monitoring me constantly. So whatever I am doing is being monitored by an attacker. Sometimes in passive attacks, an attacker simply have an intention to, you know, check what my, what my activities are. So to monitor my activities, these attackers do passive attacks. They have no such intention to uh, change the data or, uh, you know, modify my stuff. But why do they do so? Why these kind of passive attacks are done? See, in certain cases, when they want to gather information about you, when an attacker wants to gather information about a client or want to check the activities of a client, such attacks are performed. For example, if I'm working on my machine, so whatever files I'm opening, whatever work I'm doing, if I'm being attacked with one of a kind of passive attack, then whatever I'm doing on my screen, my screen is simply being captured and an attacker can see that very deadly, quite, quite deadly. The another attack is active attack. Now in these active attacks, an attacker wish to change the information. For an instance, I have my own website or I have my own blog, wherein attacker would want to change the information. Such kinds of attack are active attacks. In certain network based active attacks, it is also possible wherein an attacker is changing the message which a one person is sending to another. For example, there are two persons A and B. If A is trying to send a message to B, an attacker might change the message of A and will send it to B. So B will receive a fake message or a modified message. Certainly, sometimes it might happen when an attacker completely changes the message or sometimes an attacker will not completely change but will change a little bit of message. For example, I'm trying to say hello to my friend. Instead of that, an attacker will change that hello to an abuse and send it to my friend. The recipient would feel that the message has come to me from a known person. But that known person doesn't even know what message is actually delivered. The known person had sent a proper message, but the recipient has received a fake or a false message. So that is an active attack. While in passive, an attacker would not do that. In the same case, if the attack is passive, an attacker has just an intention to read the message. The attacker might read the message, keep it, and later on can use it whenever he wants to, but the person or attacker will not change those messages. That's the basic difference between an active attack and a passive attack. Thank you.